Hey friends, it's me, Micah, and this is the uh, Homestead Bandwagon in this general area. Homestead Bandwagon. Um, and this is a, another exciting edition of From China with Love. All right, so, uh, you know, I, I recently did a review on uh, the uh, a mini electric chainsaw, so I thought we'd change things up a little bit and do a re review on a we're going to do a review on another mini electric chainsaw and why why are we doing this um well i'll tell you why uh because somebody else sent me one and i can't resist reviewing something um like this i, I love mini chainsaws and there seem to be a ton of them on amazon right now so maybe we can start swimming through these and seeing if there's any that are that are you know head and shoulders above the rest you know uh, for, for, for occasional use. So anyway, uh, the mini chainsaw I have today is made by ZNP. ZN, uh, it says professional power tools. I have not opened this up yet. So let's open it up. Nice rectangular carrying case here. Um, I'm going to put the link to this Amazon store in my description. Um, you may have seen in the upper was it left hand corner that this is a paid includes a paid promotion i'm actually not getting paid they just sent me this for free i don't want to get in trouble with youtube so i'm just saying it's paid um they offered to give me like an affiliate link for these i, I, I usually don't do that it's all good if you want to buy one of these go buy it give them all your money i don't need five percent of your money okay so we're opening the box here what do we got well we got us a uh, a six inch mini chainsaw uh, operator's manual. We also have oh a pair, a pair of gardening gloves. These are uh, let's see, let's say what they're made out of. Nothing there. Nothing there. Okay, so uh, looks like some kind of uh, fabric with a little bit of a uh, rubberization on the uh, on the palms. Let's throw these suckers on. One size fits occasionally. Whew. Kind of fits my hands okay. I usually wear extra large gloves, which is weird because I got short, stumpy fingers. But okay, safety first. Uh, looks like we have a spare saw chain. I mean, it actually tells you on here that this is, well, there's a bunch of glare, but this tells you that it's mini quarter. Um, so this is uh, what we call quarter pico chain. So you can go to your local uh, steel dealer or a chainsaw um, purveyor and oftentimes they will make chains just bring in an extra chain and they can make you one because each chains I'm finding out do wear out pretty fast um, should we pull out the saw now yes let's do it they sent me one in bright orange holy smokes look at this thing whoa baby you are not gonna lose this ho 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 okay yeah I really like this right off the bat um, on the back it does say that it's a it's a it's a quarter 043 mini so it tells you the exact kind of chain to use um, it doesn't tell you how many drive lengths are on it but that's okay um, at least they're trying here uh, what do we see here so this guard um, is there it doesn't cover the tip which ideally this would go all the way to the tip because this is the danger zone of the saw if the saw is spinning and you 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 touch here it tends to shoot back and shoot up so these guards would ideally go all the way over the tip of the saw some of them actually have one that are riveted or bolted on here that make a cover over that danger zone but you know whatever they're trying i think they call this a splash guard but yep it looks like you can use it um there's a safety that you have to push before you can pull the trigger and it looks like you can use it with either hand so that's pretty cool um, it says it's a brushless motor, so we'll look into that. Um, not bad looking. Um, huh. Pretty comfortable in the hand. Um, it's not the easiest to get my thumb to the safety button. It's actually easier to push it with my index finger and then pull the trigger. That's funny. Huh. We'll see. Okay. So there's a saw. It's got a little thing here. You don't want to attach this to your wrist. Okay, ZNP mini chainsaw. So what else do we have in the box? One battery. Two batteries. Ooh, we got some safety, some safety glasses here. Let's try these little puppies out. What do we got? I'm feeling very safe now. 
screwdriver, charger, and how does this charger work? Let's see. I'm used to these just plugging in the, oh, plugs in the back side of the battery. Bloop. Okay. Charger. And a little tool for taking the, the, uh, the guard off the side here. And you do tighten this from the front side like the last one I did. The, the, a lot of these do this where you have to tighten your chain down by reaching in like that. I don't love that setup, but it is what it is. Um, a nice screen case actually. Stuff isn't going to flop around too much in there. I don't think. It's got to come all the way from China. Let's take these glasses off. Holy smokes. And these gloves. Okay. Thank you for giving us gloves and glasses with this mini electric chainsaw. Very thoughtful. Um, okay. Let's see. 21 volt max it says. All right. Doesn't say how many amp hours or anything. Um, does not look like I could use a DeWalt battery on this. I, I've set, had people say that you can actually use the Makita batteries on, on some of these. I don't know. Okay, let's see if it has a charge right out of the box. Locks in securely. Nice. Okay. Right out of the box we have a charge. Okay, now we're gonna cut some stuff with it. Let's cut some branches, let's cut some lumber. Um, let's just cut a few things, see how it cuts. Um, the chain is on here mm, a little loose. So I think I'll try to tighten it first. This is where those gloves would come in handy. Okay. That did not tighten as much as I wanted it to. Well, let's uh, tell you what. I'm going to read stuff off their Amazon page while we cut stuff. How about that? So we're going to cut stuff, and I'm going to narrate by reading you off the Amazon page because they did ask me to do that, and, of course, I'm going to send you free stuff. So I'm going to read off of this while you're watching me cut stuff. So what do we got here? ZNP Mini Chainsaw, 6-inch brushless cordless chainsaw with 2 battery, 21-volt electric chainsaw with security lock, handheld small chainsaw for tree pruning, gardening, wood cutting. This saw comes in orange and black. Upgraded Mini Chainsaw, the ZNP Mini Chainsaw will solve the problem of motor smoke from other brands of mini chainsaws. Because of the expensive brushless motor, the lifespan is increased by 300%. The efficiency is increased by 75%. And the noise is reduced by 50% compared with the traditional brushed pure copper motor. The powerful motor revs up to 19.2 feet per second and has 600 watts of output to cut logs of up to 5 inches in diameter in 6 seconds. Highly efficient cutting. The mini chainsaw is equipped with a cold rolled integrated high hardness guide plate, which is not easy to deform, and provides two piece replacement chains. The high temperature quenched chain is sharp and wear resistant, cutting smoothly, not easy to get stuck, and has a longer service life. The chain can be lubricated and maintained according to the usage. Equipped with two pack 21 volt, two amp hour, 10C lithium batteries can be recharged more than 300 times. Overheat, overcharge, so short circuit protection, stable battery performance. A single battery lasts 40 to 60 minutes, providing continuous power for your work and uninterrupted logging fun. With a total battery weight of only 2.5 pounds, even women, beginners, and the elderly can easily use it and it can be operated with one hand. You'll receive your chainsaw fully installed, free of hassle. Multiple protections. Safety lock design, splash guard goggles, three-fold protection to ensure safe use. In addition, it has passed CE, FCC, ETL certification, so you can use it with confidence. You will get 12 months free warranty to ensure your rights. During the use of the product, if you have any suggestions for the product, you can leave us a message and we will help you solve your problem within 24 hours. 
ZMP Mini Chainsaws, powered by high quality brushless motor. Please pay attention to the essential difference between this saw and other carbon brush motor chainsaw. Choose a ZMP brushless chainsaw and you'll get a great value for your money. If you have a garden, an orchard, a farm, or if you're a woodworking DIY lover, a camping lover, then this gadget will help you a lot. Best gift choice. Mini Chainsaw is the best gift for father, wife, husband, boyfriend. Okay, so what, what do we think of this ZMP Minery, Mini, Minery, Mini <laughs> Electric Chainsaw? Um, good little piece of equipment. <clears throat> um, you know, this is not the most expensive thing you'll find in this category. Uh, this is an entry level um, homeowner grade piece of equipment, but it works just fine. Um, you know, if you're really pushing into the cut real hard, <clears throat> it can kind of struggle. Um, like I was cutting some black walnut. So we had firewood that was a little too long to fit in our fireplace last night. Um, and I said, hey, this will be a good test for this thing. So I got up this morning and chopped those pieces of firewood down to size. Um, and it did a pretty good job of that. Um, it was black walnut. I had some pieces that were probably almost almost six inches across. And this whole thing was a trooper. You know, you're, you're cutting one-handed and then trying to steady the piece of firewood with the other. And so... You know, you want to feel in control. Um, this thing did go through the cut. It feels like it kind of forced itself at an angle, but that's probably because I was rubbing this part of it against what I was cutting. Um, it does have a little flashlight in here too, which is kind of fun. Um, anyways, but it did cut through the firewood. I just couldn't try to force it through to get to let it just kind of do its thing because um, it did at one point stop. And I thought the battery had died after like two minutes of use. Um, I was feeling it, and it wasn't too hot, and the battery wasn't too hot, but um, I gave it a second, and whatever happened, happened, and all of a sudden it cut again. So um, just be aware of that. You know, don't try to force it. But we did multiple cuts in a row. It did fine. Um, when I tried to cut PVC with it, I blew the chain off, which that'll happen. The chain was a little loose anyway, and you're not supposed to cut PVC with these, even though I've seen pictures on advertisements, I don't know if it was a ZNP, but it shows it says cut pipe. I don't think you're supposed to cut schedule 40 PVC. So whatever. Uh, battery's pretty light. Unit's pretty light. Um, I didn't take it apart, but I look inside, and uh, you know you can see the inner workings of this thing. Um, I, you know, it's it's brushless. I think they used a brushed enclosure and put a brushless motor in this and there's you can see it's plastic in there so i wonder if it gets hot how it would do i do not know but it did find it doing basic tasks it seemed to cut pretty fast which is good i like that they give you a spare chain um, that's useful you know most homeowners i don't know you'll go out and use this i think a few times a year and then put it away so it's nice just having that spare chain um, the process of taking the old chain off and putting the new one on on these mini chainsaws is laborious and not very fun but it is what it is uh, feels good in the hand you feel in control when you're using it or at least i did i like that it's ambidextrous with the safety switch safety switch and safety switch i found that trying to use the safety switch with my thumb which you'd think is what you'd want to do um, felt a little awkward so i would just kind of push it with my finger and then grab the trigger and that felt better so my finger can just rest against it and push that. Um, so that's that's fine. Um, that's my only complaint is that it just felt a little awkward to hit that safety switch. But the plastic feels like it'll hold up fine. Um, I didn't destroy the bar while using it. Um, didn't dent it or anything or bend it. So that's nice. Um, yeah, good little kit. So, you know, if you need a little, little pruning saw, you know, the ZNP, certainly. Certainly seems like it would do a fine job for you. So that's all I know. Uh, battery charge time, a few hours, just like any battery. How long does the battery last? I don't know. You know, we'll probably do a longer term test with this one and some others and see, you know, if there's really any huge differences. For all I know, they're all just buying these same casings and, and motors and just putting them in different colors with different names on the side and throwing them on Amazon. I got no idea how that stuff works. It's possible, but for all I know, um, this thing will hold up just fine. Certainly um, 
good for those small projects. Like I said, cutting up a little piece of firewood and whatnot. So that's all I know. Y'all have a great one. I'm going to go uh, do some work before uh, the rains start. Um, fall has struck in the Pacific Northwest, apparently, after a summer that never ended or never seemed like it was going to end. So y'all treat each other well out there. We will see you around.